Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And yes, guys, we are going to go ahead and take part in yet another tournament. And the one I have decided to choose for this time is the one called New World. Now, this is number 13, the New World. And it basically entails that you are going to be exploring lakes of the New World and win the classic competitions with new species. These species were added much later in the game than when it first started. So we're going to be headed to Clear Waters. This is, these are only 30 minute competitions, so this is not a very long competition. The total weight for Clear Waters, Harding Herrings Canal, and that's the three biggest fish for another 30 minutes, and Duck Pond, total weight for 30 minutes. Now Duck Pond's a small, small lake. It's supposed to be in the middle of the city, and the fish don't usually get very big, but they're it's still part of the competition and it's kind of a challenge to get something big out of it so that should be interesting we're gonna go ahead and get this started guys now we're gonna be doing the fish fights as we usually do and I will tell you there are a lot of species here number of them and I, will, I have one of the easiest to catch was the musculange as far as weight goes and that is what we're worried about is weight and common carp and another good species to shoot for would be whitefish. These are usually the easiest to catch. And I don't, yeah, I do see pike. That's another one that you can try for to add to the weight. And these others, as large mouth, small mouth, they usually don't come as big. So we're probably not going to focus on those as much. But anything we catch, it will add to that weight level. The biggest fish that's ever caught out here by myself was a salmon at 16.6 .6 pounds. So. They do come pretty big here, and I think the carp was added later, so this is going to be kind of interesting because I haven't played with the carp. But we are going to probably be focusing since it's in the morning in the deeper areas. So these areas in right around here be our primary focus. So let's go ahead and get this started. This is probably going to take three episodes, obviously, for each one. 30 minutes is a little bit long. I will shorten as much as I can when there's things not happening. So and I'm going to be competing against around 19 people that are basically computer generated. I have not been to this one in a while, so this is going to be a little challenging. There are huts here, so we can choose to pick a hut if we want so desire. And actually I might try that. That's always fun. All right. Might as well start off here. Been a while since I've been in one of these ice huts. So I'm using this lure here, and it is called, let's see, hold on, let me make sure I have it. The Crimson Rain, it's good for musculange. I have had a lot of luck catching the musculange in these lakes where they're located. And we're going to go ahead and pick a striped delicacy, which is one that they like. And let's go ahead and get this started. Hopefully, we'll get some action right away. But I've had a lot of luck with the muskies in this game. They bite pretty readily. And this will also attract the pike, so hopefully we can get a pike out of here. Just like in those other tournaments, you usually get one pike per hole. But musculins, you can get many per hole. So we'll see what happens here. There we go. Yeah, see it's showing all these little clue things in because I haven't played on this computer before with this particular game so whoa now that's a nice bluegill <laughs> was not expecting a bluegill now let me see what hook I've got on here I've got the one for pike got one for common carp Chinese perch walleye I don't see one that's particularly good for musculange 
So we may just end up going with what we've got. Or we'll try the Africa. And if this doesn't work, we'll try a balanced lure. I have a really good balanced lure that I might actually just go with an all-around lure. Maybe focusing too specifically on certain species may not be the way to go here. Doing something like the Green Goblin or the Blue Beast might be the way to go. But if we don't get anything here soon other than a bluegill, we're going to need to move on. And it's not looking too good. The only good thing about the huts, though, is they do block the wind so the hole doesn't freeze up. Yeah, this is not looking too good, guys. Not looking good. I think we're going to go deep. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go deep, and I'm going to use an old failsafe here. Well, there's a hut right here in the deep water. There's nobody in it. Oh. <laughs> I drilled right in front of it. That's all right. I thought I put him in, but that's all right. We're going to switch this. This is a new lure I was thought I'd try, but I think I'm going to go with the Blue Beast. Blue Beast has always been good. And we'll just stick to something a little more generic here. Might be too many options here. There we go. Yeah, the Blue Beast is always a good one. If we're not focused on one particular species, which right now there's so many here. Ooh, now there's our muskie. Right there, six pounds. Not bad. Not bad at all. In fact... Go ahead and put that on there, and I've got one that I do know they love, and it is, I believe, called the Ice Queen. Yes. We'll try that one. This kills the muskie, I tell you. Every time. And even though I got one out of the hole, you'll get more than one. Yeah, Dula killed me at this game, <laughs> catching the muskie. He was catching them like crazy. There we go. I bet you I got another one. Oh, I got a pike. 6.89 pike. Before we go any further, I want to see if I've got the settings saying... It keeps giving me those warnings, and I don't really want that. Okay, we're going to turn the tutorials off. Don't really need them. <laughs> 
getting kind of kind of annoying. Say so thanks, guys, but I think I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, these guys really seem to be in the deep water. I didn't expect the big pike. That was a that was a bonus. Okay, this one's not as big as the last. But it's still a fish. <laughs> Man, what's with the bluegill today? Jeez, and they're not little ones either. Big ones. The biggest I've caught here, I actually got on the leaderboard, was over four pounds. I think I got sixth place, but still, I was on the leaderboard for like maybe a week. <laughs> Somebody eventually beat me out. Somebody always catches a bigger fish, eventually. I think I'm about ready to move on again. Not getting any more traction here. Yeah, let's move on. We caught some decent fish out of there, so we're going to move to another look. Well, we might even just jump in this hut. It'll be different enough. It won't let me get in there. I'm not sure what the deal is, but it will not let me get in there. It will not let me get in there. Oh well. It's all good. We'll try it anyway. And that could have been enough. Drilling a new hole seems to be all it takes a lot of times. Uh, we got something, but it's little. <laughs> now that's cute. Yeah, let's let's move a little further out. I'm not sure why I couldn't get in there. It doesn't make any sense. We're going to put it right in here, right in the deepest. And if this doesn't attract anything, I am going to switch back to the blue beast. Come on, big fellas. There's got to be somebody down there. There we go. That was a little more solid. There's a muskie. And we still may get another pike out of here. We haven't pulled one out yet. If I stick a green goblin on there, I bet you we'll get a pike out of there. 
need to get something really large to cinch this. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Another musky. It's already there. You can see that there are multiple musculunges, musculunges per hole. We just need to catch their pappy. Grandpappy. Okay, this one's a bit bigger than the last two. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. As long as we're catching them, I'm fishing for them. Well, there's another decent bite. Seven point one four pounds. That's the biggest one so far. Keep doing this, won't make any difference. <laughs> of course you can pull one good size carp out and beat everything. I mean the carp in this game nothing runs heavier than carp in this game. Even the Barracuda doesn't run that heavy. Sturgeon comes close. I think it's carp, then sturgeon, then barracuda. Man. Okay, this, this is a good spot. Five point five point oh seven pounds. Got a pile of muskies. You can definitely see how this particular lure favors them. I was going to try some other lures, but at this point in time, I'm not so sure I should try. I need to get the numbers up. Okay, this is not a big fish. This could be another bluegill. <laughs> I don't know. If it is, it's a big one. No, it's a teeny little pike. It's probably being picked on by these guys. Okay, come on. Give me a really big monster. I know these guys can come 20 plus. Easy. I haven't seen the leaderboard, but Oop, I'm hitting the touchpad. Sorry about that. Yeah, when you 
I need to shut that off. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might have. Time to move. Let's see, where's another good spot? Let's come down here. I'm surprised anyone, no one's drilled here. Honestly. Seems like they're skirting the edges for some reason. I think I might just turn around and switch to the Boo Beast or something. Or maybe see if I can get some carp. The Silver Bite is good for carp. So is this one. We could try it just for a little while and see if it does anything. They're going to be deep, too, so... Let's see if there's the one I need. The neon. And what attractant? I think it's the blue... Wait a minute, is it the blue gem? No. It's koi. Bit grayscale. There we go. Glitter. Got plenty of them too. Alright. Let's scoop that out while we do that. We'll just see if there's any carp down there. One big monster carp would cinch this. Whoa! Yeah, there we go. There we go, people. There we go. This is big. This is really big. Holy crikeys. This is a big fish. Whew, I'm going to have to be careful. What the hell have I got? Yeah, it might be a carp. I haven't seen it bound, bound up and down this much since I've caught a carp or a barracuda. Wow. Look how long it's taken me to get him in. Gotta take my time. What the heck have I got here, people? Oh my goodness. Forty five pound common carp. There you go, guys. Forty five pounds. That's probably more than all the others combined. Jeez. That lure really works. <laughs> If I knew they were that easy to catch, I would have started off with that. Jeez. Like I said, it's it hasn't been on this lake the whole time, and I wasn't sure that they'd come that big here. Well, I just broke my record for the lake. And I think I feel a lot better about this competition. But yeah, if I had caught that within two minutes of the clock, though, I probably would have had to let it snap. Because it took me a while to get him in. Well, I wonder how big they come here, then. Okay, this is not big, but it might still be another carp. And every fish counts.
No, it's a muskie. Damn, things are everywhere here, I tell you. Yeah, that really surprised me. That was that was amazing. I did not expect to get one that big out of this lake. Yeah, I'm going to have to check out some of the other small lakes, too. Of course, I'll get to check out some of them through the tournament, but if they've got carp in them, beat more of my records. Let's throw a little more attractant in there. I'm determined to get another one before the clock ends. That may have been the only one. You never know. Nope. <laughs> Spoke too soon. This is probably going to have to be my last fish, though. This isn't a small one. We're not far from the, the starting thing. Wow, that's the biggest muskie yet, too. 8.55 pounds. Shh. I don't know. Let me do it not so deep. That way, if I do catch something, it won't take very long. <laughs> I've got a little bit of time. I can't imagine I can get anything that big that close to the surface, but... If I do, I'll be able to get it up, so I'll get it out of the hole. Just precaution. Because a lot of times I've pulled Xander out by doing that. Nope, I think it's about time, guys. Yep. Let's call this it. It's a little pushing it too much here. You will get kicked out of the tournament. Alright, we got a little bit of time here. We'll be back. There's one person way out here. <laughs> They're gonna end up getting disqualified if they don't hurry it up. Talk about cutting it close. I think they're going to get disqualified. Yep. And we'll see who won. It was me at 95.31 pounds total. This next one was 21.45. I think I got the biggest fish too. Yep, 45. Well, shoot, I got more from the one fish. If I had just had the muskies alone, it would have been enough to win that competition. But yeah, I think that one person got disqualified. Yep. And they're down to 18 in this competition. So we will be back with the next one. That's the Harding Harrigs Canal. That's the three biggest fish, determines the winner. And on that one, it should be interesting to see. It looks like the sturgeon was the biggest fish I caught there. But common carp is there. Common carp is there. So are muskies. So we might approach this in much the same manner. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes for the next leg of the New World competition. So until then... As I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.